In this tutorial, we'll do a quick review on equation solving, or rearranging formulas. Now, some find this a bit challenging, particularly if it's been a little while since you've finished your Math 10 prerequisite. Thus, let's start with a quick overview of the concept, and then we'll include some examples. Now, in your math classes, you first solved equations for the variable like this. 3x plus 2 equals 8, solve for x. We remember that solving for x means, from a conceptual point of view, finding an x that would make this equation true. And that is, we could plug in this number into the equation here, and 3 times the number plus 2 will equal 8. From a more procedural point of view, solving for x means getting the x all by itself on one side of the equal sign, or isolating the variable, as is sometimes said. Going with a procedural point of view, let's solve for x. That is, let's isolate the x in this example. And to get the x on its own, we first notice that we don't want this 2 here. To the x, we're currently adding 2. So to remove it, we'll simply do the opposite. That is, subtract by 2. Now, whatever we do to one side of the equal sign, we also do to the other. So we subtract a 2 over here as well. The plus 2 and the minus 2 on the left cancel out, as was planned, and on the right we have 8 minus 2 equals 6. So we're closer to having the x isolated. But to get the x all by itself totally, we'll have to get rid of this 3 here. And we're currently multiplying the x by 3, so the opposite of this is dividing by 3. Again, whatever we do to one side of the equal sign, we also do to the other. So the 3's cancel out on the left, and on the right we have 6 divided by 3 is 2. Now, hopefully this all looks familiar to you. Easiest to start off with that, and then we'll move to rearranging where there's multiple variables. As you'll be able to see, it's the exact same steps. So let's use this, a little bit more complicated looking equation. AT plus V0 equals VF and we're asked to solve for t. It looks tougher, but in fact, same concept. Before we carry on, let's just quickly give you some foreshadow on later units by pointing out that these variables represent some stuff you'll be learning about. The a represents acceleration, the t represents time, v0 represents the initial or starting velocity of an object, and the vf represents the final velocity of the object. You don't need to know what they stand for at this point to do the algebra, but yeah, it's worth pointing out. Back to the arranging. So let's compare this equation with our previous one. And we can see that they're the same type of equation. Simply stated, in the previous example, the a was a 3, the x is now time, the initial velocity was a 2, and the final velocity was the 8. Thus, solving for t instead of x, should be pretty darn similar. In the previous example, we started isolating the x by subtracting 2. In this case, v0. So let's do the same thing and subtract v0 from both sides. On the left, just like before, the plus v0 and minus v0 cancel each other out. Perfect. And on the right, we have it as vf minus v0. True. In the previous example, we could reduce this down to one number. But in this case, we have to leave it as vf minus v0, knowing that we may end up with those numbers later, and we'll know what to do with them then. For now, we leave it as a subtraction. So we're closer, but again, to totally isolate the t, we have to get rid of the a, the acceleration. In the same way that we recognize that the x was being multiplied by 3, we see that the t is currently being multiplied by the a. So we do the opposite, and divide by the a. Whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. The a's cancel out on the left, and on the right we divide the whole thing by a. Our final answer, vf minus v0 over a. Not quite as pretty as finishing with one single number, but much more useful, as you'll learn later. In this tutorial, you learned that rearranging formula with multiple variables 
isn't really much different than solving the problems like you started in math class. You'll have to keep track of more things, true, but the steps are the same. If you ever get puzzled with rearranging problems in physics, some people find it handy to pull out an extra page and replace a bunch of the variables with numbers. And sometimes this will help you determine what to do next. It's a little more familiar looking, perhaps. Being able to solve equations generally like this takes your math skills to a new and powerful level, as you're now able to generally represent relationships of all kinds. These relationships help scientists and engineers design and simulate.